as we all know periodic table is arranged in the form of period and groups moreover periodic table is also classified into four major blocks that is s p d and f block for instance if we have any element and we need to find out the period group and block of that element then how we can do so in our today's video we are going to learn how to find out period group and block of any given element from the periodic table how to find block of any element when we have filled all the electrons the orbital in which the last electron is represent the block in which the element is placed keeping it very simple if we have electronic configuration of any element here as you can see this now the valence electrons of this element are present in p subshell so now the block of this element is p block so this is how we can find out the block of any given element we just need to check that where the valence electrons are present the subshell for the valence electron will be our block it can be s block it can be p block it can be d block and it can be f block also at first i have calcium atomic number of calcium is 20 here now let's write its electronic configuration it's 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 then we have 3p6 and then we have 4s2 now we need to bother the valence electrons here these two are the valence electrons now we need to see in which subshell these valence electrons are present these valence electrons are present in subshell s so for sure here the block of calcium is s block so this is how we can find out the block of any element how to find period of any element in the periodic table to determine the period in which the element is placed we need to look at the highest principal quantum number for example here we have magnesium the atomic number of magnesium is 12 now let's write electronic configuration of magnesium here we have 1s2 2s2 2p6 and then we have 3s2 so here we need to find out the highest principal quantum number the highest principal quantum number is 3 so simply we can say that magnesium belongs to period number 3 then how to find out group of any element in order to find out group of any element we need to bother four blocks s block p block d block and f block and one by one we will learn that if an element is in the s block how we can find out its group and then so on if the element is in the s block then the group number is equal to the number of the valence electrons and if the element is in p block then we can determine its group number with the help of this formula 12 plus number of electrons which are present in the p subshell of last shell we can understand this with the help of an example at first if we have any element say for example i have sodium here 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 is the electronic configuration of sodium here we need to find out the group at first let's decide the block of the sodium element the block of the sodium element is s block because valence electron are present in the s subshell here we just have one valence electron so it's very clear that sodium belongs to group number 1 phosphorus the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 now let's write its electronic configuration here we have 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and then we have 3p3 the valence electrons are present here in p subshell so it means that this phosphorus belongs to p block now we need to find out the group number for p block element which is phosphorus here so here we simply need to apply a formula at first we need to take 12 and then we need to add the number of electrons of p subshell into this 
So 12 add 3 is equal to 15. So phosphorus belongs to group number 15. Now what if the elements are present in D block and F block? If the elements are present in D block, then the number of the group can be determined the formula written here. 2 plus number of electron in N minus 1 D subshell. Here, just keep one thing in your mind that here we are talking about the last D subshell which is present in the electronic configuration. And we just need to take the electrons from there and we need to add them into two. We can easily find out the group number for the D block elements. Then if the element is in the F block, so it's always very clear that the elements which have F block, their group is always three. Moreover, the elements which are present in F block, they have very high atomic numbers and it's not an easy task to do electronic configuration of that F block elements. Somehow, if you can do electronic configuration of these elements, still it's difficult to find out their group with the help of these typical methods. So it's better to memorize this that each and every element which is present in the F block, like the lanthanides and actinides, they all have a same group number, which is group number three. Here, say for example, we have an element vanadium. Atomic number of vanadium is equal to 23. And now we need to write electronic configuration of vanadium. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then we have 3D3. At first, we need to check out the block of this vanadium. The valence electrons are present in the D subshell. So it means that vanadium belongs to block D. It's a block D element. And then if it's a block D element, now we have a formula to find out the group of all the elements which are present in D block. So here, according to the formula, we just need to add 2 into n minus 1 d subshell. As I told you, you need to keep one thing in your mind that you need to bother the number of electrons that are present in the last subshell of d there. Here, we have three number of electrons in this d subshell. So 2 add 3 according to the formula is equal to 5. So it's very clear now that this vanadium with atomic number 23 belongs to group number Five. So this is how you can find out the group number of any element which is present in D block. Say for example, if I have atomic number 42 and this time I need to find out group, period and block of the element. So at first I need to write electronic configuration of this element. It's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d4. Now at first, we need to find out the block. We need to bother the valence electrons here, which are these four. These valence electrons are present in subshell D. So that's why the block here is D block. Now we need to find out the period. Here, we need to bother the highest principal quantum number. The highest principal quantum number here is this 5. So it means molybdenum belongs to period number 5. Then we need to find out the group. So molybdenum is a D block element. At first, according to the formula, we need to write 2. And then we need to add the number of electrons which are present in the D block. And then we need to add these number of electrons which are present in D subshell. So we have four number of electrons that are present in D subshell. Two plus four is equal to six. So it means molybdenum belongs to group number six. Here you can see we just find out that molybdenum belong to group number six. Period number of molybdenum is five and it's a D block element. This is how you can easily find out the block period and group of any element present in the periodic table. So yes, this is enough for our today's lecture. If you want more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.